Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can import list data into QuickBooks using Microsoft Excel in QuickBooks 2004 through 2011. Starting in QuickBooks 2010, you can easily copy and paste data from an Excel workbook into lists. To see how you can perform this task, please review Lesson 3.15 adding multiple list entries from Excel in 2010 through 2011 in the introductory QuickBooks manual. However, in addition to being able to copy and paste the Excel data in those versions of QuickBooks, you can also perform an advanced importing of the Excel data into your QuickBooks lists. This technique is the only way to import Excel data into your lists in QuickBooks 2004 through 2009 but it also continues to be available in the newer versions of QuickBooks. If you are using QuickBooks 2004 through 2011, you can import information from an Excel workbook into QuickBooks customer, vendor, item, or account lists. To do this, if using QuickBooks 2004 or 2005, select File, roll down to Import, and then choose Excel files from the menu bar. If using QuickBooks 2006 through 2011, Select File, roll down to Utilities, roll to Import, and then choose the Excel Files command. That will then launch the Import a File dialog box. If using QuickBooks 2008 through 2011, click the Advanced Import button. On the Setup Import tab, click the Browse button at the right end of the File text box to launch a dialog box where you can select the Excel file to import. Then you can select which sheet in the workbook to import from the drop-down that appears below the file name. If the data that you are importing has column labels, then check the The Data File Has Header Rows checkbox to use the topmost row of data in the selected sheet as a header. In the Data Mapping section, you must then tell QuickBooks which columns in the Excel file should be imported into which fields in the QuickBooks file. Click the Add New Choice from the Choose a Mapping drop-down to create a new data mapping for your Excel data. This will launch the Mappings dialog box. Here you must type a name for your new data mapping into the Mapping Name text box. Then select into which list you want to import the data from the Import Type drop-down. When you do this, the available fields in that list will appear in the left column. For each piece of data that has a match within your Excel import file, click into the right column and select the name of the Excel column, if your list has headers, to which the data corresponds. Now when you're finished, click the Save button to save the data mapping. To preview the data before importing, click the Preview button. This will show you the data as it would look when imported. It will also show you any errors that would occur if the data was imported. At the bottom of the window, you can select how you want QuickBooks to handle imported rows that cause errors. When the data looks good, click the Import button to import the data. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.